What's going on, everyone? It's your host, Spook Benjamin, and we're back again with another great episode. Um, today, we're going to talk about Diddy. We're going to get straight into Diddy. We're going This is going to be the last topic on Diddy. So, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Let's get into it. A federal agents raid music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Holmes in Los Angeles and Miami. And tonight, we're hearing from his lawyer for the first time. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister is on Star Island with the latest. Anna? Yeah, Lauren and Elliot, we are hearing from Sean Combs Diddy, as we know him. We're hearing from his lawyer. He says that authorities used a gross level of military use force to get inside of his homes during this raid. And he says that his client is innocent and that they will continue to work to clear his name. Now, remember. So he said his client is innocent. Now, once I watched this previously, I was like, you know what? It's time to look at all of this from a different angle. A different lens, a different perspective. Now, what if everything we just seen was part of the circus? Y'all probably like, what circus? What circus is he talking about? Well, I started putting things piece by piece together, and I'm like, all right, you remember he was in that lawsuit with um the owner of Ciroc, Diageo, or whatever, and he was like, oh. Um, him and Diageo fell off and Diageo wasn't paying his cut or something like that. All I know is he was in a lawsuit, right? Let's get that part straight. Then he got into that lawsuit and sued that Spanish or white man or whatever. And all of a sudden, months later on, here come the, um, the top allegations. You know, here come the, um, the, the Cassie and Cassie got some bread out of him. Then here come another lawsuit, here come another lawsuit, another lawsuit. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, why did it take all this time to do this? I mean, why didn't it just do this in 2010, 2005, 2018? Why now? And why after all this lawsuit? That's just the lens I'm looking at. Now, I don't know. We haven't seen any evidence yet. We haven't seen any arrests yet. All we've seen is these theories and these different YouTubers saying this, that, he escaped, he on the islands, he on this. Come on now. We in 2024, right? We in 2024. Don't you think, you know, the government, the C whoever it is, what, whatever government agency, don't you think they got the power to surveil everything going on? I mean, think about it. Every jet or private jet got a tail number and you can track it. They already don't track Elon Musk. The little 16 year old boy at UCF don't track Elon Musk. They tracking Jeff Bezos plane. They, they, they can tra you could track private jets. So they know exactly where he's at. So all of this, oh, where's Diddy at? Where's Diddy's at? They know where he's at. It's 2024. They got surveillance everywhere, cameras everywhere. Come on. It ain't no mystery to them. And then, then they say, oh, all these allegations and all these conspiracy theories saying he did this, he did that. They saying he's worse than Jeffrey. They're trying to compare the man to Jeffrey Epstein. Like, that's crazy. See, the difference is we know Jeffrey Epstein was guilty because he was convicted, arrested, convicted, and all of that. And evidence, proof came out. But we haven't seen no evidence yet. Hell, for all we know, when when when, them, when Homeland Security slash the feds raided their home, they didn't find anything. Y'all seen them walk out with anything? What, a couple of one or two laptops? They didn't find anything. They didn't find anything. So, I don't know. For my lens, it's looking like this is a show. Like, they putting on a show. And it looks like uh, they trying to assassinate his character. You know, and assassinate his legacy. That's the, on my lens. That's what it looked like. I don't know. This is just from my lens, my perspective, my reality. I don't know about y'all, but I'm just saying, look at it on a different angle. Member Combs is facing several lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault, but in the latest one, it's filed on behalf of a male producer that worked with Combs, and in it, he is accusing Combs of sexual assault, and also a member of the royal family is mentioned, as well as a Hollywood actor, and that actor is accused of sexual misconduct. 
As cars quietly rolled through music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Star Island property Tuesday, the lawsuits against him are loud and clear. Monday, federal agents raided Combs homes in Miami and LA. Look at that, though. Look at that. I mean, I, I, what is this? The, they said it was the feds, but this is military grade gear. They said the feds raided them, right? I don't remember FBI agents or federal agents in army gear. This looked like the SWAT. This looked like the goddamn military. And I'm starting to think, like, was it that necessary to have the military, the military or the SWAT team raid his home? That looks a little bit excessive to me. I I ain't even seen the, the, the SWAT team raid Raid uh, uh, the military, raid Jeffrey Epstein's home. I ain't see that. Oh no, we ain't see that. Lay in connection with a sex trafficking investigation where belongings of Combs were seized. They're looking for evidence that would support whether or not an individual or individuals were coerced and had been located at one of these locations and that there might be some physical... Look at that. They don't even have a case against him. He just said it. They looking for evidence. They're looking for a case against him. They don't even have a case against him. They are looking for a case against him. If all of these allegations were supposedly true or not. Now, I ain't defending Diddy. Don't think, don't ever, don't you dare think that I'm defending him. For all my reason, all I'm saying is let's wait until all of this clear the smoke and let's see the real hard evidence on this man. That's all I'm trying to say. Once I see the evidence, then I make my clear judgment and be like, okay, this man is guilty. But I'm not going to say this man is guilty. Just because everybody else on YouTube, all these tubers, is saying he's guilty and this and that and this and that. And I know I made my little joke on the last video. That was just for entertainment purposes. But right now we're getting down to business. We're getting to clarity. And my clarity's sharpening it up. Let's get back to the video. Evidence supporting the testimony that these witnesses have alleged. The raid comes a few months after Combs' ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a lawsuit accusing him of rape, sex trafficking, and abuse. A case that was settled out of court a day after it was filed. That was the first of the four lawsuits. I don't know. Like I keep saying, all I know is he went on, earn, he, he was at that event at Earn Your Leisure. That Earn Your Leisure event where they hosted Diddy. And when he was talking about uh, these the, these corporations, these companies, they not for the people. They don't, they don't care nothing for y'all. And that Diageo and him been beefing for a while, and Diageo haven't been paying him right. You know, Diageo, the owner of Ciroc, yeah, them Ciroc boys, yeah. Once that law, when once Diddy filed a lawsuit against him, I know all of these gar darn problems came at him, one by one by one by one. I don't know. Is it truly he did it? Or is it truly this is character assassination? Hmm. It's filed the most recent, a former producer for Combs, Rodney Little Rod Jones. Jones accusing Combs of sexual harassment. In the lawsuit. All of these accused, 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 accused. Come on now. Okay. They're saying it's accused, right? So. What are these people that come out accusing these people have the hard evidence that he did all of these things to them? They would have the physical hard evidence, right? So they wouldn't need to go raid Diddy's home to go search for the evidence because these people would already just give them the evidence. If all of these allegations were true, just think about that for a moment. Filed on behalf of Jones, his attorney states that Mr. Combs was known for throwing the best parties and states that the mogul used his connections with famous and powerful individuals to lure people in, naming Prince Harry as someone who attended his parties. While Prince Harry is only mentioned once and he is not accused of any wrongdoing, 
Actor Cuba Gooding Jr. is named multiple times. The lawsuit alleges that Combs tried to force Gooding Jr. onto Jones in January 2023 while on a yacht rented by Combs. The lawsuit states that Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and... F Ain't it crazy that he threw a lawsuit at them? <laughs> and they threw about three, four, five lawsuits back at his ass? Ain't that crazy? He's the one that first started the lawsuit against Diageo, right? And them, them, them boys in motion said, you know what? Oh, you want to sue us? All right. We're going to get four, five lawsuits thrown right back at your ass. And it's going to come at these angles you ain't never seen before. And here you have it right here. All of these accusations and allegations. That's some crazy stuff. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm going I'm to politic with you guys later. I just wanted to share my thoughts with y'all. Get my thoughts off. Now it's time to check the deuces. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Have a productive day and a productive morning. Deuces and salute.